Amen. Amen. I was accustomed to the old. But can I come to appreciate the new? Yes. Yes, I can come to appreciate the new, but it takes time. Day by day. From faith to faith. Amen. Amen. From glory to glory. No, no, no. No, there must be transformation in the life of any individual who have come to Christ. Amen. You're not supposed to be the way you used to be. Amen. Maybe you have not come to where God wants us to be, but thank God we are not where we used to be. Yes. There is a progression. There is something called transformation in the life of the individual. I remember when I came to this country in 1994, I missed the food. I missed the island food, man. <laughs> yeah. The curry and, you know, the good stuff. I miss my friends. When I joined the church, I, I miss my old friends. I, I miss that. I mean, I love the dance hall. I love the parties. I had, a, I had a, my clothes tailored for the parties. I, I had a hat and the, the shirt and the, the shoes. And I had everything. I had, I had the moves for the music there. Eh? I miss it. But can I come to appreciate the church? Can I come to appreciate him now. Yes, I can come to appreciate it, but it takes time. Progression, Progression transformation, amen? amen? From faith to faith. Amen. Because now I have an understanding because all other gods are dead. Amen. The only one who is alive is Christ, amen? amen. The only one who is alive is Christ. No, no, if he's the only one who has conquered death, that's what I want to follow, amen? amen. I was worshipping God that had eyes but could not see, that has ears but could not hear, that had mouth but could not speak, and you have to carry your God with you. But my God, when I come to Jesus, He carries me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, some folks say that they, they make resolutions for the new year. I don't make any resolutions. Because human promises made in good faith, we fail miserably. I allow my God to make my resolutions for me, amen? I just fit myself into His plans, amen? amen? When you allow God to make your resolutions and your plans, you'll be alright, amen? amen? If we make our own plans, we'll be disappointed. Amen. I'm not saying don't be concerned, amen? But don't worry. Because He loves every single one of us. So no. No one puts an old garment in new, or new garment in old. No one does that. No one put new wine in old wine skin. That's a given. No man having drunk old wine immediately desired the new. For he said the old is better. I thought I was living before I came to Christ. But I'm eating such good food. I did not know that you people eat such healthy food. It's a blessing, amen? amen. I ate some of the best meals after coming in, into uh, embracing the knowledge of Christ. And I didn't know that I was missing out. But I have come to appreciate the new, but it takes time. Amen? Amen. There are some things that God takes off from our life immediately, instantly. But some things, it takes more time. See, what might, what, what might be my victory might be your struggles. Amen? Amen? And what might be your struggle or your victory might be my struggle. So, to every one of us, it takes time. None of us will reach to the point where we say we have arrived. Amen. Whenever you reach to that conclusion, you are a lost soul. Amen. Because God is, God is infinite. You can count to a thousand, you can count to a million, you can count to probably a billion or a trillion, but can you count to infinity? You can never. God is infinite. The, 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 the closer we come to God, it's 
like the, the, the Father, He's away from us. Amen. Because God must always remain over our heads. We can never rub shoulders with God. Amen? Amen. You know, uh, I, I hear people use derogatory words like, 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 like they, they are the angels of bodies. They are the man upstairs. And, and we talk about God as though He He's on the same level like, like, like us. But God is the creator. He deserves worship, reverence, and respect. Amen? Amen. We are his subjects. He must always remain over us. Amen? Amen. And his study will be throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. We will never come to the full understanding of who God is. But we do know that He is love. Amen? Amen. He is a loving Heavenly Father. He loves us with an everlasting love. So Paul says, from faith to faith. Amen? We grow day by day. Day by day from glory to glory. And one of these days, friend of mine, is going to be alright. So, 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 so there are things that that we have been practicing in our lives, but we can get a victory in Christ. Amen? Amen. We can get a victory in Christ. It does not happen overnight. Now, Ellen White says the same thing. I did not uh, get the quotation, but I, I can find it for you if, if you want it. She said, There is no such thing as instantaneous sanctification. There is no such thing as instantaneous Sanctification. Maybe you can find a quote from me, uh, my dear. She says, you do not in one leap reach perfection. You do not in one leap reach perfection. It is the work of a lifetime. So she said the same thing that Christ said, that Paul said, amen? Yes. No one does this, no one does that, no one appreciates or immediately appreciates the new. Paul says from day, from day by day, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. She says, no, there is no such thing as instantaneous sanctification. For example, well, if, if you meet your brother and you greet him, you will say, or oh, your sister, you say, how is your walk with the Lord? You never say, how is your leap with the Lord? How is your job? How is your walk with the Lord? Amen? Justification is the work of an instant. God pronounces us justified. Amen? Amen. Sanctification is simply justification extended. Amen? But it takes time, day by day. The hymn writer says, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. It is the work of a lifetime, and, 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 and the old lady also wrote a book. The book is entitled Steps to Christ. It's not a leap, it's not a jump. It's day by day. Amen? For some of us, it's moment by moment. Amen? Day by day, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. We are striving. Amen? No, no, no. The, the, the reason why, the reason why we, why we fail, is because we tend to give up. No, no, no. This is my last scripture in, in, in the book of Proverbs twenty-four and verse sixteen. This is the key passage for this message. Proverbs twenty-four and verse sixteen. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16 says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. For a just man falleth how many times? Seven times. And riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Why does the just man keep falling? 
keep getting up. <laughs> because every time he falls, he keeps getting up. Amen? Amen. A just man rises up seven times. Fall seven times and rise it up again. Every time the just man falls, he keeps rising up. Amen. You cannot fall when you are in a lying down position. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the wicked fall into despair because the wicked does not rise up. You give up too quickly. This Christian walk is not a bed of roses. When we come to Christ, it is not a graduation. It is simply the inauguration that we have started the walk with the Lord. Amen? Amen. That will take us throughout eternity. We never stop. So you have not arrived. It's not a time to relax or to fold your arms or to be in the rocket chair syndrome. By the way, if you don't know what the rocket chair syndrome is, the rocket chair keeps you busy but it gets you nowhere. <laughs> it's a progression. Day by day. From faith to faith, from glory to glory, we must be growing every day. So the just man falls seven times and rises up again. Every time the just man falls, he keeps getting up. Yes, we will make mistakes. Yes, we will fall, but we are not a stay down. Amen. We got to get up and put our hands in the hands of Christ. Amen. Because we, we, need to keep, uh, we need to say like Martin Luther King, he said, I got up this morning with my mind still on victory, Amen. and I ain't going to let nobody turn me around. Amen? Amen? He said, this morning I, I got up and I put on my marching shoes. Amen. We need to be ready like good soul. Yeah? Our soul is ready at a moment's notice. Amen? Whatever God says to us, you don't have to think about it. Whatever he says to you, to us, we need to be ready at the moment's notice. Amen? That's a good soldier. We are obedient to the commander. Amen? Amen? Because we have a commander in chief and he seeks our interest. Whatever he says to us, it's our best good. Amen? That's true. I remember, uh, you know, my son came to Emirates and uh, I decided not to take any loans. I, I don't, I, I'm from the island. We don't believe in taking loans. You know that, Donovan. We, if, you, if, we, if we have cash, it's okay. If we don't have, we just wait. If we, if we can't get it, we do it up. Because taking loans, we, we call it you owe it somebody. You have a debt to pay. So you trust. So I never grew up like that. So I would pay for his college. I believe it was the second or third year. I was short like $20,000. Because, you know, the, the, the college costs like $40,000, $45,000 a year. Private college, you know, you were studying um, aerospace. So, I said, Lord, I, I don't know where to get this money. I don't have it. I'm, I'm working, but I don't see to put it together. But, but something happened that, that my utility room, uh, you know, when you, have, when you have trouble and then you have some more, it got backed up and, and you know the water was coming back and so I went up in the roof and I sat on a snake and the snake got stuck in the, in the, in the sewer line so mm -hmm. another trouble. Tried to get it out, I couldn't get it out so I, my neighbor said go to the insurance company. So I went to the insurance company and I said I have a problem with the, with the plumbing you know in the house. And I said okay we'll we set out a plumbing company. So they came and they sent on a camera and they saw the snake where it got stuck because there was a crack in the line in the, in the old cast iron pipe. And they came up with an estimate and I, I asked them, well, can you tell me what your estimate is? They said $20,000. Mm. I said, wow. I said, um, can I work with you guys because I'm a handyman so I can, you know, make a change? They said, no. <laughs> So I said, what about what, what I'm going to do to fix the problem? They said, well, we got a, I had a pool, so they're going to cut a slab between the house and the pool, and uh, they're going to, you know, put some new lines. I didn't want them to do that, so I, I said, okay. Um, 
I'll call the insurance company and we'll go from there. So I, said, I called the insurance company and I said, I'm going to fix it myself. They said, are you going to fix it? I said, yes. And because um, I knew what I was going to do to solve the problem. And to cut a long story short, I, um, I started getting jobs. That's the work. And so my wife was saying, um, take care of the problem, you know. It took me about maybe a day to solve the problem. I spent maybe about $100. And it took about six months before I called the insurance company and they were calling me. They said, uh, we want to send out the inspector to make sure everything is okay because you have your check and you're waiting in the bank. So I finally called the insurance company and said, send out the inspector. And they came and they looked at everything. I didn't tell them what I did. And uh, he said, he checked everything and everything was working fine, you know. And I went and I collected the money in the bank, 19600 plus dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. God can get money from a sewer line. <laughs> Have mercy. Praise the Lord. <laughs> is, is, is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? No. No, he didn't provide the money instantly, you know. No, I didn't use the money that year. God, I, I, money came in, but I didn't use it before. <laughs> you know? See, 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 it takes time. Amen. We may not have everything in our hearts, amen, but we've got to trust in the Lord, amen. Yes. If God before you, who can be against you? Yes. I'm not telling you what I heard from somebody else. I'm telling you what I've experienced, what Christ did for me. And if he can do it for me, Certainly he can do it for you. Amen. If my God can cause a donkey to speak, have mercy. If my God can cause an iron to swim. And, and, and you know the, 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 the servant of Elijah. And, and the thing was even borrowed. He began to cry and say, the, the, axe had, the axe head was not even mine. Mm -hmm. So he spoke to the man of God and the man of God went down there on the river and he, he, he just touched his mantle and the Bible says that axe head began to levitate and came up on top of the water and it began to swim. <laughs> uh, God can cause the iron to swim. <laughs> Have mercy. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And if he did it for me, friend of mine, he can do it for you. Amen. As Paul says, I'm the less the, the least of all saints. And Paul was the child for the Lord. Amen. So, friend of mine, this walk is not a bed of roses. We've got to develop a hard change. It calls for effort. It calls for time. People who love God spend time with His Word. Amen. Amen. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. There is power in the word of God. Amen. Amen. There is victory in the word of God. Our only defense is the word of God. Amen. If Christ used the word, how about you and I? Amen. Amen. It is in the word of God. One of these days, friend of mine, it's going to be alright. It's going to be alright one of these days. But it takes time until that time, amen? amen. I don't miss the meat anymore. Amen. I don't miss the swine. I, I got used to the smell. But God has a way of setting in the Holy Spirit and getting rid of the smell from the house, amen? amen. He, he has a way of taking you from the gutter and planting your feet on higher ground. Amen. Not only that, he takes the gutter out of you. Amen. Amen. And he puts rhythm in your bones, man. Pep in your step. Put a song in your lips. Joy in your hearts. It gives you peace of mind. And this peace that the world doesn't give and the world cannot take away. Amen. Only my Jesus can do that. Amen. It makes you a brand new person. It takes time, day by day. Faith from faith to faith. From glory to glory. And one of these days, we're going to swing back those pearly gates. 
on the glittering hinges. We're going to walk on the streets of gold. We're going to stand on the sea of grass. We're going to sing the victory song. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, friend of mine, but I want to be that number where the saints go marching in. Amen. Can you imagine sitting at the welcome table? Hmm? Amen. Eating from the tree of life and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. And yielding her fruits every month. Can you imagine? Twelve different kind of mangoes every month. <laughs> oh! No, 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 no. If you have not really tasted mangoes from the island, you're missing out. Don't miss out on the New Jerusalem, amen. amen. We have the water of life, untainted, unfiltered, clear as crystal. No more sickness, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more, no more eyeglasses, man. No more falsehood, no more gray hair, no more arthritis and lazy arthritis, and no more pain, no more sorrow, no more hospitals, no more prisons. Amen. No one would say I'm sick. I long for that day. Amen. 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 But we can begin to live the eternal life here now because we claim the promise. And if God be for us, if we put our hands in the hands of Christ, no one can take us out of his hands. Amen. Yes. When, when we are in the hands of the devil, the devil will never let us go. But when we are in the hands of the Lord, we can take ourselves out of his hands. Because the, the decision is in our hands. Amen. The answer, friend of man, is in your hands. We can either stay with him because we have the freedom of choice or we can walk the walk day by day. What a day of rejoicing that's going to be. May God bless you, friend of man, and keep us safe as, we, as you're about to face a brand new year. Remember it's day by day. From faith to faith. From glory to glory. May God bless you and keep you. Let us start as we see our closing hymn. In number 524. 524. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Psalms 10.
I say, Lord, give me the strength to live day by day a victorious life. Even though we fall, even though we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. If he cares for the, the blade of grass, uh, rise up in the morning and is withered with the noon the sun. If he cares for the tiny sparrow, how much he cares for you and I. You want to put your hands in his hands and by his grace and mercy, we want to keep trusting him. Is there somebody you just want to raise your hand? You want to keep trusting in the Lord? Amen. Amen. Let's sing the last time. I'm so glad I learned to trust me, precious Jesus, Savior, friend, and I know the dark heart with me, till the end, till the end, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.